process, you know, as a professional student, <coughs> having done their work, done your work, being mature, know what you want, be able to effectively communicate how to get it with appropriate um, humbleness and appropriate desire, etc. And that's that's really quick and dirty what I want to communicate with you tonight. So let me stop and guide me in terms of getting those things you can understand. Any questions you want to ask me, I'm open.
have to do the military. There, there, there are some nuances about the match. The urology match came out last week. The ophthalmology match came out a month ago. Um, so there are some nuances about this match, but the military match is a nuance also. Yeah, athletic position, I No, it really doesn't. Um, you would just say um, you're in the military. No, it doesn't, it doesn't affect you in any way, shape, or form. Um, generally, obviously, uh, the military is a nice financial package for you. Uh, so that works. Uh, but it's neither here nor there. You're not given extra credit for being in the military, going in the military or uh, you are not. What would you say looks best during the gap year? Like well, that's interesting. Did anybody hear the question about the gap year? Well, the first question is, why are you taking a gap year? Okay. No. You've got to have a reason, okay? That's, it's a rhetorical question. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've got to have a reason for taking a gap year. And it needs to be a reason that's going to be in concert with your ultimate goal. For example, you couldn't say, well, I'm taking a gap year because I'm just, I can't take the pressure. Well, what does that say to us? Gosh, man, it's a little pressure. And you can't take it? It just doesn't sound right. Uh, or, I, I just want to go lay on the beach for a year. <laughs> just says, well, goodness. Versus some good research, versus I want to get some more experience to be sure this is what I want to do versus I have this wonderful opportunity to work in an age versus, I mean, you know, things. So the real trick is, what, why are you taking the gap year, and how does it work in concert with your ultimate goal of being able <coughs> And it's perfectly fine to say, I just wasn't sure, and I wanted to do this, but then you've got to let it, in the interview, convince us that it did do it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's that kind of thing. But it is clearly, please, please hear me, it is clearly okay to take a gap year. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Sometimes it's the best thing that could happen to you from a maturity standpoint, from a ability to make money, to help you with the indebtedness that's going to occur because, you know, med school is, I mean, yeah, those who want to go to DS school, they get ready to pay out. DM is like, what, 55,000, 58,000 a year? Med school's about 36. I mean, the DM's got you. They, they, they have that money coming in. So you have that one interesting kind of, you might think it'd be the reverse, but it's not. The DM schools are more than the <coughs> uh, state schools. Now, if you're going to a private school, let me just say that while I think about it. Duke, Vanderbilt. Well, see, they don't, they don't care about what state you're from because they're private. But their tuition is 55 cents. So there are two sets here. Well, there are three. There's the offshore, there's the state school, and there's the private school. And then you've got your DO school from there. Now, the DO schools are traditionally private. <coughs> there may be a state DO school. I'm not so 